Okay, I got a big bunch of uh, bags in the mail today. I love these Chinese, <laughs> Chinese things. So I, I bought, I don't need 10 of them, but I bought 10 of them because they were so darn cheap. Um, these are little 555 modules. So if you haven't uh, seen one of these, it's a 555 timer and there's a header and there's a potentiometer, 10 turn. So um, what I like to do with these, I like to modify them. So um, I bought these 45 cents each, 45, 45 cents for, for, for a whole board. Um, so uh, I like having the connector not go up. I like it having going down. So I desolder the connector and I flip it upside down and I put it on the bottom. And then the, the uh, uh, adjustment, sometimes this adjustment's just fine, but sometimes I want to have a little wheel that I can turn. So I'm going to remove this uh, potentiometer. I'm going to put one on that I have a turn, a turn on. Um, and uh, a little knob on it. So, so yeah, let's let let's let's do that. I get forty five cents. <laughs> Any five 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 version one point one. People can say, where do you get them? Send me a link. Um, just search eBay. Uh, search eBay for five 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 timer module, and yeah, you'll see a whole bunch of different varieties and stuff. Some have jumpers that have uh, multiple capacitors that you can choose. These are just one value. Um, so sometimes it's an, this is an okay speed, sometimes it's not. Sometimes, a lot of times I just need a clock, and I don't really care about the speed, I'll just adjust my oscilloscope. I just want to have a clock that I can test a circuit out with, and these are just great. Um, so yeah, let me uh, get my desoldering tool, and uh, we'll take this one, oh, well, I might as well do two of them uh, while I've got the desoldering tool up and running. I'll do two and uh, leave the rest for some future projects. Okay, so before we desolder, I'm going to put some solder on it because this is probably a lead-free solder and it just doesn't flow very well. So I'm going to put some leaded solder on it. Um, somebody asked me once, uh, what type of solder do I use? And I forgot to answer them. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. This is Kester. Uh, it's a 6040, uh, number 44, Kester 44. Um, so that's what I've got. All right, and it's uh, this is the thickness that I like. It's uh, 0 0.31, 0 0.8 millimeters. Okay, so let's get these desoldered. I have my desoldering tool here heated up. And it sounded like it was pulling much of a vacuum. Sometimes. Need to clean out my soldering tool. I think I need to clean it. So this, this, this will be a good video. All right. So my desoldering tool is not, uh, doesn't feel like it's pulling a suction. You just kind of get that by experience. So uh, you have these wires that come with the uh, tool and you can just kind of jam them in the end and rotor root the thing. There we go. I felt some resistance, so now, yeah, it just, it, sounds, it has a different sound if it's working correctly, so. The other thing that I did was uh, you, you uh, pull back on this plunger and then this thing comes out. This is where all the, the dead solder goes and there's a filter on the bottom and stuff. And I kind of banged it on my desk and got the solder out. And then you push this button and it lock, puts it back in. I think we'll be good to go now. That's better. There we go. And the connector came loose. Perfect. So I'm going to turn the board over. And I want the connector on the bottom side. All right. And I don't want to hold it there and burn my fingers. So I always got this blue stuff. People are always asking me about the blue stuff. I showed it once. I think it's a lock a lock lock tight pro product. I don't remember what it is. But some kind of you can use it for sticking things to things. I don't know. I don't know what its intended purpose is. This is what I use it for. Oops. That wasn't really Yeah, close enough. 
All right, so now we got the header on the bottom side. I got it a little crooked, but I think that's fine. Um, and the other thing I want to do is take off the potentiometer. Okay. Oh, let me put some, let me put some lead solder on it. This one might be a little bit harder because these holes are small. And a lot of times desoldering small holes is larger, is a bit more difficult. So put it on there and let it heat up and then swirl it around while you, while you hit the trigger. And the swirling around kind of breaks it free. Oop, then it came right out. The solder didn't. That's good now. So we've got, yeah, we've got three good holes. So now we've got to figure out what, uh, what potentiometer is being used. It says it's a 105, which is a, wow, I think that's a one meg. Let's measure them. Okay, so uh, I've got some clip leads on it. We can take a look. And it is saying one meg. Yeah, it's a one meg ohm, uh, one meg ohm. So I don't have, I have some on order. I don't think I have any, um, I don't think I have any one meg ohm potentiometers at this point in time, but we will put on 100K because that'll probably be fine for most of the stuff I want to do. And I know I've got those. I've got a bag of those over here. So I'm getting all my uh, potentiometers on AliExpress. They seem to have the best price and variety and stuff. So this one has a nice little, uh, nice little wheel on top. You can get the exact same uh, potentiometer without the wheel. It just has a little place to put in your uh, screwdriver. But we will just attach this one. And that looks pretty good. Once again, we'll hold it on with the blue stuff while we turn it over. And there we go. So now I've got a, a part that goes into the protoboard. Let me grab a protoboard here. So it'll go onto the protoboard and I can read the nomenclature on it so I know where ground out and VCC are. And then I have a little wheel here that I can grab. So I've turned my 45 cent wonder into something even better, I think. Um, the potentiometers are cheap too. They're, man, they're super cheap. I don't, if you buy them in bulk, they're like super, super cheap. I think you can get, get them for Oh, I don't know, 40 cents or something? I don't know, they're pretty, they're pretty cheap for these. Um, anyway, yeah, there you go. That's what I like to do with them.